welcome, and thank you for flying with us today. Before we take off, we would like to share a brief safety video to make sure everyone has a safe and enjoyable flight. First, when you arrive at the jumps, come prepared for training. Make sure you've had enough rest and have eaten, and that you're mentally prepared to focus on what the coaches are telling you. Do not practice immediately after another practice, like Junior Nordic or cross country running, or if you're injured or fatigued. Arrive on time so you don't miss the warm up. Warming up gets the body ready for training and prevents injuries. Be dressed appropriately for the warm up and to spend several hours outside ski jumping. After warming up, check your equipment for broken or missing parts and tell your coach if you see a problem. All jumpers must provide their own helmets. Jumpers on the 40 and 65 meter hills must wear helmets with hard plastic that covers the ears. If you don't know where to buy a helmet like that, ask the coaches. At the top of the in-run, do a gear safety check one more time. Is your helmet strap buckled? Are your boots tied tight? Are your heel clips firmly in place? 40 and 65 jumpers, are your safety straps on? And for everyone, are your goggles down? And remember, never go off a jump until you're flagged by a coach. Yep. At the bottom of the hill, move out of the way quickly so the next jumper can go. Before crossing at the bottom of a hill, look up to see if a jumper is coming. Parents and families, please leave your dogs at home. If you must bring your dog to the jumps, make sure it is on a leash at all times. Now a few words about falls. Falls are part of ski jumping. Fortunately, modern ski jumps are designed with safety in mind and injuries are rare, but they can happen. Most falls are the tip and skid variety but there are a few common scenarios that can lead to bigger falls and should be avoided. Never bend your knees in the air. Air pressure can get on top of the skis and you can tip in. Don't snow plow. The landing hills are steep and you will be pitched forward. Let the outrun slow you down. Don't jump if conditions are affecting your confidence. For example, if wind or ice is making you nervous or the bar is too high. Go down a hill size or move the bar down. Ask for help if necessary. Stop when you're tired. Don't try to take one more or move up to a bigger jump at the end of a practice. When you do fall, raise an arm when you come to a stop to let people know you're okay. And finally, pressure is not allowed at the ski jumps. Encouragement is good but pressure from other jumpers or from parents is not okay. The ski jumps are a no pressure zone. These safety tips can also be found in our parent manual, provided to you on the first day of practice. We encourage you to review them at home, and if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your attention. We hope you have a safe and enjoyable flight.